Hi everybody, this is Ben Sturba with Dr. Jay Hartley at Hartley Chiropractic and Scoliosis Center. Uh, today I'd like to talk a little bit about the relationship between scoliosis and sciatica pain. Dr. Jay, could you explain a little bit uh, what sciatica pain is, what the sciatica is? is that sure, yeah. Sciatica is pain radiating down the back of your leg and it's related to the lower lumbar spine and commonly when you have misalignments in the lumbar spine it can contribute to that pain in the back of the legs. Uh, many people traditionally think about it as a pinched nerve or their back went out and now they have pain down the leg but when we do a traditional scoliosis test or sciatic nerve test and that test is negative then we start to look at is this coming from scoliosis and Many patients are getting that type of referred pain um, from their scoliosis. So what are some of the symptoms that we can experience with uh, sciatica? So usually the patient, either when they're sitting for a long time or they're, they're walking for a long time, they'll start to get pain um, down the back of the leg, into the hip, pain, knee, um, things like that. And the more they stand in one place, walk for a long time or sit in one place like on a long drive they tend to get that pain more and then when we do the traditional orthopedic test for scoliosis which is like what we call the straight leg or raising or the kips test those tests are negative but they still have all these symptoms and then when we take the x-ray we see that many times it's usually in an adult they'll have adult degenerative scoliosis and a lot of times it's also accompanied with a lateral lathesis, which is ligament damage on the side of the vertebra, so the vertebra slides sideways. So it's tilted, but it's also slipping. So to correct sciatica, um, do we go about just correcting the scoliosis, or do we treat the sciatica directly? So we're, we're actually found that with these scoliosis patients that have sciatica, it's better to treat the scoliosis directly. We're already doing some orthopedic neurological tests that tell us, is this a nerve injury? And what, it, what we find is it's not. So um, when we treat them as a scoliosis patient, we find that they get the best symptomatic relief and it's getting to the cause of the problem, so then the problem just doesn't come right back. Okay. Um, what are some of the treatments for sciatica pain? So um, with our corrective procedures that we do, the mixed fix set, the first thing is a warming up of the spine. So if, if you go into your garage and you find an old dried up sponge and you dunk it into a bucket of water and wring it out, that sponge comes back to life. So when we go through the mixed procedures with the clear scoliosis correction, there's a lot of warming up of the spine. It's helping to hydrate the disc, get that nerve working better, and get it able to move back into a better position. Then we do a very specific adjustment, we call that the fix. And then we do exercises to get that adjustment to hold. If the curve is severe or the patient has ligament damage where the bone is slid sideways, we might also recommend a scully brace and that helps to hold that ligament damage in place. And we find that the combination of that treatment is very effective. And then the patient is also given home exercises. I have a question. So why is the sciatica pain usually found in the lower part of the body, not the, the top half? The cause of it? You know, the pain um, that radiates down through the lower leg. So the term sciatica is, is really describing pain in the, in the posterior leg. Mm -hmm. The sciatic nerve travels from L2, 3, 4, and it goes in a bundle down the back of the leg. So, um, the term sciatica actually means inflammation of that nerve, but when somebody says sciatica, it's really more describing a clinical picture of pain in the back of the leg. Okay. I think we should do that one again. <laughs> it wasn't, I don't think it was too good on my part. If you wanna. Um, well, you can cut out the last. I can cut out that part, yeah. Yeah. What we're saying right I now. think it was fine. It was fine. Yeah. I just was taken aback by some of the questions, I guess. Or, I don't know. I wasn't on that one yeah it was so fine. much but um, yeah we can cut all this out but I guess I'll just say that are, are there any other questions that I should ask for this no one? that's good okay. um, so I used it um, how do I end it I forgot thank you for just
tell us about these issues. Okay, yeah. okay, so thank you for watching, everybody. Um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, Hartley Chiropractic and Scoliosis Center. If you'd like to schedule an appointment with us, visit drjhartley.com. And thank you very much.